Hi everyone, Holly Milliken here from South Grafton High School, bringing you my next video on making maths fun. Now in this video, I am going to take you guys through a couple of different activities on the topic of decimals. Now what I really love about activities such as the ones I'm going to take you through is that in New South Wales, decimals is one of those topics that is introduced from early stage one. So students, by the time they get to high school, already have a level of familiarity with the content and with the vocabulary. So activities such as these can go into a little bit more depth than other activities where the content is new and the students are unfamiliar with the vocabulary surrounding it. I really find that students coming with that level of prior knowledge really allows uh, these activities to increase their depth of knowledge and really form a solid foundation to move forward through their high school years. Now this first activity is one I like to call decimal dice. This game is all about students understanding place value as well as greater than, less than and equals to symbols. To play this activity, students are split into pairs and provided with the following worksheet. Once in pairs, then you decide how long students' numbers will be and students are to roll their die however many times needed to complete their number. You could start with tenths and then move up to hundredths or thousandths, depending on the level of the class. Once students have rolled their own number, they copy down their partner's number and discuss whose is bigger and why, putting the appropriate greater than, less than or equal to symbol in the box. Now, to expand this activity, students could swap partners, change the size of the die, or change the outcome. So are you looking for the biggest number anymore? Are we looking for the smallest number? Or for who's got a decimal in between two specific decimals? So there are lots of variations of this activity, which can be integrated really quite easily with this worksheet. Now, this activity is one that I made myself for my top year seven class. And so in the worksheet, there is not much scaffolding, but for a mid or a lower level class, further scaffolding could be added just to really support those students in understanding the process of the activity. Now, this second activity is called decimal deduction and requires students to pop on their Sherlock Holmes hat and work with a partner to deduce which decimal has been chosen. Now, in this activity, students are to work on their use of uh, vocabulary associated with decimals, so their tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. Um, and it's a really great activity to get students communicating mathematically with one another and using the vocabulary and the terminology associated with this topic. Uh, it re it's really great at increasing their confidence in using this terminology in it and in having a deep understanding of what each of the vocabulary words associated with this topic actually mean. Now, this activity, you can play one of two ways. You can play it uh, originally, which is how I usually introduce the game, in a celebrity heads style of a game where you'd get one student up the front of the classroom and you'd pop the class's chosen decimal on a sticky note above their head and they then need to ask questions to try and figure out well what decimal is above my head. Um, for a mid or a lower level class you could uh, add some parameters so that there are sort of less questions that need to be asked um, and you could maybe provide some guiding questions for the students as well. Now, the next sort of step from here is I will usually pair students off, give them the worksheet and a clipboard and have them choose their own decimals for their partner. The partner then has to try and guess, well, what decimal has my partner got written on their worksheet by asking a series of questions. And once again, this can be further scaffolded by providing guiding questions, um, as you can see on the worksheet here. This here is the worksheet provided to students when they break off to work on this in pairs or small groups. Now this worksheet provides some starter guiding questions and could easily be further scaffolded to provide further support for students who needed it. Another way to scaffold this could be to brainstorm more guiding questions as a class before splitting off into pairs rather than just giving students the starting questions. Now as students ask their questions there is also space for keeping track of assumptions. Uh, when working in pairs, the student who correctly guesses their partner's chosen decimal is the winner. 
Now, my students tend to get highly competitive with this game and they seem to keep track of, well, how many, like what is the least number of questions I can ask my partner to figure out what my decimal is and things like that. So they get quite competitive with it and I found this a really fun game to sort of finish off a lesson in the last 10 to 15 minutes or so. Well, there you have it, guys, two different activities to help engage your students in learning decimals. Thank you so much for watching and to keep up to date with all of my latest videos, please make sure that you subscribe to the ACER Teacher YouTube channel. See you guys next time.